high levels of ozone will actually make our children sicker, our elderly people sicker, and we don't want that to happen, obviously. We want our, our families to be healthy. Air pollution is a problem. Uh, it's caused primarily from two sources. One is uh, vehicle emissions, uh, and the other is power plant emissions. And because we get most of our power around the country, and even here in Austin, we still derive most of our power from fossil fuels. When there's air pollution in Texas, people who have more resources can get medicine if they have asthma, they can move away from next door to the power plant if they want to. People with fewer resources, people who are in positions with less power, don't have that opportunity. And so from a faith perspective, caring for the environment isn't separate from caring for all of the people that live in it, especially the ones who in our faith traditions we call the least of these, the people who are the most disadvantaged have the least power. Texas is one of the most polluted states in the nation yet we have the biggest opportunity to turn that around through renewable sources of energy. Absolutely the worst thing that they can do. It makes me mad that the, the, the dirtiest state in the country is even looking to embed that, that carbon footprint deeper <laughs> by, by investing in an ancient technology. There are people who are still stuck in the past. Uh, they are still stuck in a, a, the 1950s, 1960s mentality. And you just need to give them a, a kick in the posterior, get them to start thinking, you know, hey, wake up, it's 21st century, new millennium. You know, let, let's, let's get going. Let's get on the cutting edge of things. Isn't it amazing that with all the environmental problems Texas has, we have within our own borders the resources to fix all of them. Almost like God made it that way. It's a lot cheaper to address this issue today than it would be 20 years from now. With technology, green jobs, you'd create hundreds of local jobs, permanent jobs. To me, it's just a no-brainer. The sector of our economy that has suffered the most loss has been in manufacturing. And in fact, that's a sector that we can stimulate with green jobs. This state is blessed with a lot of natural resources, sun, wind, uh, we need more of that. We don't need more of this stuff that's uh, belchy, uh, belching filth up into the sky. And making the smokestacks taller is not the answer. In order to make this transition, it has to be a grassroots movement. One of the easiest but also most powerful things that people can do is just express their opinion. It has to come from the bottom up. That's why people need to get involved, they need to contact their representatives, their legislators, uh, the people at the regulating agencies at the state and federal levels. This is where it really comes down to. People off the street, you know, people like you and me and everyone else just come out there and let the EPA know what we're thinking, you can offset a little bit all of these suits. Every citizen has the right to clean air, to breathe. They want to have their children and their parents able to go out and enjoy um, this incredible environment that we have. So you should pay attention to what's happening and make sure that um, the rules that are in place are being enforced and if they need to be stronger, then they are stronger. You've got your voice matters. Go ahead and uh, email your comments. Follow that link and email your comments off to the EPA. Just even saying something as simple as we want clean air, we want clean water, we want clean energy. The decision makers need to hear from the public. The more the merrier. Even if all you can do is just write a few sentences or type a few sentences, um, that can be incredibly powerful. You know, shoe leather will overcome the influence of money. Uh, that's still true in the American system, I believe. We're at a time where, where the government, the federal government in particular, is really interested in what people have to say right now. The, the other side is going to be there big time. Our leaders need to basically take the courage and say, you know, we're going to address this issue now because it's the right thing to do. Um, we really don't want to pass this on to future generations and, you know, let this be their problem. 